What is up YouTube? I'm back again. I'm getting ready to go on an adventure into Yellowstone. I've, spent, I've been spending a lot of time in the winter in Yellowstone skiing around. I'm um, not really running as much but still trying to keep my fitness up through backcountry touring. Yellowstone as we all know is a special place. I call it the modern Jurassic Park. You get to see a lot of things, a lot of cool animals, but mostly I'm out to you know have a nice ski, ski to some nice uh, land features, as well as run into some animals along the way. But what I want to talk about today, and as I prepare, I'm 24 hours out from my trip, so I um, wanted to go through what I carry in my pack. So this is not going to go over what I'm wearing on my body, but just things that I'll keep in my pack. Uh, I did not include things like food and water, that's a no-brainer. Um, and I am missing one critical piece that I don't have in here, which will be a lighter, but I will pick one up on my way out. So let's talk about my pack. <clears throat> I actually recently just picked up a new pack. This is the Osprey Talon 33. Now I was in a 22 liter pack. This is just going to give me the ability to carry my camera equipment and everything I may need. Right here on the side of this pack, I have a tarp. So this is just a six foot tarp that I use to lay down on the snow. Um, you could use it as a shelter if, if anything goes wrong, but mainly and most of the time we lay down on the snow when we're having lunch, whether I'm with myself, with some of my clients, uh, or just some of my buddies out there. It gives you a nice place to stay dry and it's also just a backup item in case you do get in trouble out there. So this is just two top and bottom thermal or capoline that I know will stay dry. And the idea is if I get in trouble or I get wet, or I'm sweating because that happens a lot when you're on ski, I can use these to change uh, or have as an emergency backup item if I in fact get stuck out there or something happens. In this bag, this is my main safety kit, uh, excluding electronics, and I have an extra pair of mittens, an extra pair of socks, a Bali clava, it goes a full whole face mask in case it gets pretty cold. This is a space blanket in cold weather, it can save your life. So I also carry um, an addition, additional bivy bag, which is very small, very lightweight. And it's nice because it uh, gives me the ability to throw up something that's waterproof if I need it and I can crawl into it. Uh, and then I have an extra just little Bali clava so I can put it on my head if I get cold. Now these things again are all just the oh my gosh, it's <laughs> we've, we've, we're in trouble. And or if I'm with someone that's not carrying the right, the right stuff, which is happens a lot. Um, you know, I'll have extra things like extra gloves, extra socks, and again, everything stays in these bags because I want to make sure, I want to make sure, again, that you're not, that I'm not getting wet and you should be very concerned about getting wet, especially when you're on skis, sweating, um, or if it starts to snow or rain and your waterproofing fails, you just want to make sure that, um, you know, you have something dry to put on. Now, I'll carry a Gore-Tex shelf. I'm a big fan of Gore-Tex, huge fan of Gore-Tex. I know it's expensive, I, I picked this up on the sale rack last season. Um, it's a uh, mammoth and basically it's just a shell that's pretty lightweight that I know is waterproof that I can throw on. I'll have waterproof ski pants on, um, but typically this, this doesn't breathe that well. So as long as it's not raining or more likely snowing, uh, I'll keep this in my pack. Just a piece of kit you want to have. It's that shell. It will keep you warm. Um, and again, it will keep you dry, which is one of the most important things for out there. Now the rest of my pack, just some more safety items. I'm carrying the um, Actic Core by Petzl, and basically this is a headlamp, strobe, uh, very strong. It's well over 300 lumens. Um, I run with this at night back in Virginia uh, during trail season, uh, so this is a, a must have for me. I have a GPS unit, I'll make sure this is charged. Uh, but again, this is just a Garmin GPS unit that I can basically set breadcrumbs, and that's important. Yes, I can see my ski tracks back, but where we're going, and especially if I'm going places I haven't explored, uh, I will carry a paper map, which I don't have on me right here with me, um, but this is something that I'll carry along with my cell phone. Um, but I, this stays on at all times so that I can have an active track of where I'm going. Now this next piece of kit I'm really happy to have. I hope to never have to use it in a sense of its purpose, but it's another Garmin product. Uh, it's the InReach Mini. Uh, so this is an emergency beacon. If I push this, they'll send uh, the Calvary, right? It's here if I need it. It gives me the peace of mind. It's a nice piece of kit. Uh, I got this over the uh, spot 
because this is a radio network, which means it's two times, about two times um, more satellites in the radio network than that which Spot uses. So more reliable, I've found. Also little things like it, it shows me if the message is successfully sent, whereas the Spot doesn't. So that's a whole nother video, but this is one of a, a, a very important piece of kit that I carry and will have on me at all times. Now there's some little things, like I said, that I'm missing, but um, that'll give you just a basic starter kit. Make sure you have fire with you. Make sure you have something to a vessel of water, um, again, so that you can trap snow and either melt it if you need to. Um, so a couple different options. I'll actually have my um, flint and steel as well as a butane lighter with me just in case I need to start a fire. All right, having that said, what in addition do I carry in this? Well, that comes down to my other pieces, which are my optics. Uh, I got a Canon um, 80D and a couple different lenses for it. Right now I'm shooting on a 24 millimeter pancake lens. I hope to get the 10 to uh, I think 10 to 16 millimeter lens, which will give me a, a nice wider view closer for uh, vlogging, but for right now this is what I have. I'll carry this lens, um, which is the 24 millimeter, shoot some B-roll and stuff, but it's not image stabilized, so it's gonna be tough to do video with um, other than short shots or maybe slow motion shots. But my main piece of kit is this right here. I picked this up used, it's a Tamron, um, and it's 70 to 300 millimeter. And this is a, you know, a, a very basic telephoto lens that I need to get those shots of the coyotes or the fox or the moose, you know, or get it tied up on a buffalo. Um, they're pretty lazy this time of year, so you can get pretty close at a safe distance. But having this uh, means I don't have to get that close. I think just these two will be enough for me for that. Now I will also carry a couple other cameras. Uh, this is the new GoPro Black Hero 7. The internal stabilization they call HyperSmooth on this uh, is awesome. <laughs> Lastly, I'll have a, this is just a mirrorless, pretty cool little point and shoot mirrorless camera. So um, again, this is something that I'll take with me. I'll probably have someone, my wife or someone carry this. Uh, I've gotten some nice shots off of this and some decent videos. So just to have this little backup and it's got a pretty good optical zoom on it um, and I like it. So um, for the weight and to have just another perspective, it's worth it. I also picked up some nice binoculars. Instead of getting a scope, I ended up getting these binoculars they're called Vortex. They're really nice uh, out there. You know, it's hard to get your camera on animals and most of the time you'll have these hanging around your neck and you'll be spotting, right? So you're looking for animals with these. So a good pair of um, binoculars. And again, I got these on sale, but they're like $600 binoculars. Um, but I ended up getting them for like 300, but they are really good and well worth the money. So this is just to get out my camera. It's a basic camera bag, long and big. Um, again, I think it's yet yeah, low pro. Um, again, so I can fit in my larger lens here um, that I can take on the go. That is my kit, my basic kit. Oh, one of the most important things I carry. Now, I carry this, obviously we know what kind of animals are there with big teeth and you know whether it's a grizzly, which is unlikely because they're hibernating, or a cat, or a wolf, or whatever. You know, I'm not gonna carry a firearm, I don't think I need to do that, but Bear spray will be on me and everybody that's with me. I'll keep it on an outside pocket of my bag so that it is easy to get to and deploy if needed and hopefully that doesn't happen. Next time, uh, hopefully I'm, I'm seeing you from Yellowstone. I think in 24 hours, I'll be on skis. So as always, my Vanderpool, you know what we do. Uh, let's get it.